Hello! Glad to have you here. I would like to show you something. I've ordered and uh, just received this, this meditation cushion. And as you can see, it comes with a very beautiful design. And uh, that reminded me of a very, very interesting um, Zen story. It's not so well known, this story. And if I'm not mistaken, it's not part of one of the great uh, Koan collections. Um, but it is um, so interesting that I want to share it with you. And it's about the fourth, the so-called fourth ancestor of Chan or Zen, Tao Xin. So we have Bodhidharma, the first, Huiko, the second, Zheng Zhan, the third, and Tao Xin, the fourth ancestor. And Tao Xin heard rumors of, of very dedicated and uh, yeah, practitioner and meditator living in the mountains, uh, maintaining a, a small temple as a hermit. And uh, Dao Xin thought by himself, hmm, maybe it makes sense to go and visit this guy. Yeah, he did that, walked into the mountains, and when he arrived at the at the small temple, he saw Farong sitting on a on a stone and obviously meditating. Dao Xin came closer and, and waited in front of Farong. And as Farong glanced, Dao Xin asked, sir, excuse me, please. What exactly are you doing there? And Farong said, well, I'm contemplating mind. Dao Xin said, please tell me, sir. Who is he who is contemplating? And what mind is it that is being contemplated? Farong was taken aback. He had no idea how to answer. And he thought by himself, oh, this guy with his piercing questions, I might learn something from him. And normally he did not invite anyone to stay in his small temple. But this time he decided to, to invite Dao Xin to, to stay and uh, Dao Xin agreed and while they were chatting Dao Xin heard the roar of a wild beast in the forest and he was startled oh. and Farong who saw that said ah I see it is still with you so what he meant was there is still some kind of attachment that you have to work with. Oh, Dao Xin said nothing. And uh, when Farong went into the temple to prepare some tea, Dao Xin wrote the name of the Buddha on the stone where Farong had meditated. So it is not, not such a design, but the name of the Buddha. And when Farong came back with the tea out of the temple, out of his dwellings, he saw the name of the Buddha, the sacred name of the Buddha on the stone and he hesitated to sit down. He didn't dare to sit down and to somehow desecrate the name of the Buddha, the holy name of the Buddha. 
And Dao Xin said, Ah, I see. It's still with you. So, hope you enjoyed this uh, story. And uh, maybe we all can learn something from it. Be well. See you soon.